Christmas is coming. And this is a Lilliput Lane figurine model church thingy. And when you get these, these are running on filament lights. So there's lights inside this and they will light up and there's lovely lightness going on. Uh, they got filament lights inside and they're on FAA batteries. So what I've done, I've created a loop. So I've changed all the bulbs in there for LEDs. And I did this a little while ago and I put plugs in the end so you can all plug them into a chain. So if you've got a load of these, you don't have to run batteries, you can run them all on USB power. So I've added in dropper resistors and stuff for the USB. Um, now this one I've got back because it doesn't work. So I've taken the bottom off it already. So I'm going to power it up and see if I can find out why it doesn't work. Now it should be fairly simple because there's nothing in here. Even if you've got three LEDs, a resistor that I've added and the output or the input power cable thingy. So it can't be that hard, can it? So here where I'm stabbing is actually the, I suppose, junk, the join point of all the LEDs. So you've got the blue and the white cables that go to the LEDs and this is where they join up and all meet. And there's two volts across them. I'm powering this at the moment with a bench supply. So there's two volts across but all the LEDs, all three of them, but there is no light. So if you look down here, you can see, well, that looks like it's lighting up, but that says ambient light. They are not lit. Just trust me on that. Uh, yeah, if you go down here, you can see where the lights are. There's one up there, but that's not lit. So, why would you have voltage across LEDs and they're not light? Would one LED be pulling it down slightly? But then again, two volts should be enough to illuminate an LED. Uh, I'm a little bit confused because voltage across an LED should make it light, shouldn't it? It's drawing current. So currently it's drawing 11 milliamps. So it's not a lot of current, but it's drawing something. You'd have thought 11 milliamps across three through three LEDs in uh, parallel would cause them to even just glow a little bit. Hmm. Simple, but confusing. So what I've done here, I've put a resistor and an LED in line. This is one of the LEDs used in the house. And uh, got a voltmeter across the LED, and you can see the volt drop is 2.9. So this suggests to me the LED needs about 2.9 volts-ish to light. So as we're getting two volts across the LEDs in the house, this is suggesting that one of the LEDs, because they're all in uh, parallel, has gone high resistance or slightly short and it's pulling the voltage down to two volts and that's not enough to light up the good LEDs. So that means one of the three LEDs is uh, shorted. Now this makes my life a little bit of a problem because I can easily get to this LED because it's hiding under there. But the other ones are kind of glued in, especially that one right in the corner there. So that could be fun, trying to get that lot out. Oh, what luck. I've just desoldered the first LED, which happens to be the easiest one to get to, and they've lit up. So, ah, oh, Christmas. Ah, oh, Christmas. So, that makes it work. So, all I've got to do is change this one LED, which is the easiest one to change, and we're sorted. LED removed and new LED fitted, and you can see it's all lit up. And all the others are lit up. So, I just need to plonk, plonk that in there, put a dab of glue in and you call it fixed. And with the lights off, it's all backlit and working and there's a little light in there. So that's it, all fixed, ready to go back on the decorations and uh, see you again later and uh, happy Christmas. Yes, it's nearly that time. Goodbye.